Happy Science Saturday! This is Miss Jessica, King of Sela's Naturalist, sending greetings from the picnic sh shelter and in front of the playground. Did you solve the riddle from last time? That's right! We're going to talk insects. Insects are everywhere, even in Antarctica. They were here at least 400 million years before us, and insects outnumber us 200 million to one. That's a lot of bugs! With all these insects, why don't we see them all the time? Well, they're good at camouflage, which means that they can blend in really well with the plants, like the wheel bug and the praying mantids. Some are really small, only the size of a pinhead, like gnats and fleas. Some come out only at night, like moths and fireflies. And some live in the ground beneath us, like ants and ground beetles. Okay, so we know where they are, but what are they doing? What don't they do? They break down poop, leaves, compost, helping things decompose so we don't have to worry about it piling up. They pollinate plants so they can seed and we, have, we can have fruit and berries. They eat each other like mosquitoes and garden pests and provide food for birds and other animals. Now that we know a little bit more about our six-legged friends, let's see if you can find them. I have taped off four areas around the playground at camp using compost critter hunt from SeaWorld activities and the tools provided in the Science Saturday bin, how many insects can you find? Which area had the most? You can also do this at home using different areas around the yard. There are also eight places around the edge of the playground designed for insects to live. Can you find them all? Attached in the description is a place to make an insect hotel at home. Now here's a riddle for next week's topic. I love to sing, but I don't dance. I live among the water, mud, and plants. I am most of the time green and brown. I don't walk, but I hop around. What am I? So long for now.